Hi guys, this is Rachel from Studio Us with another video tutorial for you guys to try at home. Today we're going to do a special Easter craft project and make this awesome pom-pom bunny. A combination of a painting and a pom-pom project. So let's go ahead and grab our supplies. We're going to need light blue paint for our background. Pink paint. Turquoise paint. And some yellow paint for our polka dots. We'll also need a drawing pencil with an eraser, a large needle, something that you can put yarn through, a pair of scissors, and a pom-pom maker. And also, we're going to need a nice spool of white yarn and a paintbrush. Alright, to get started, you're going to take the template that we've got up on our website and cut that guy out. So we've got a nice little bunny there, grab your scissors, cut right along that outside black edge. And once you've got that, we can line that up on our canvas and we'll just trace it with the pencil. If you don't have a canvas at home, you can also do this painting on a thick piece of paper like watercolor paper or cardstock. It works just as well. So I'm rolling really lightly with my pencil, just getting the lightest line around that bunny. And what I'm going to do is take my eraser and lighten that line up even more. I'm not going to erase it completely. I'm just going to pick up any extra graphite left over from the pencil, so I just have the lightest, wispiest pencil line going around the bunny. And that's going to help us avoid seeing that pencil line once we paint in our background, so we can leave the bunny white and just let the color on the canvas show through. Make sure you take some time, clear off all that eraser dust, and we'll get started painting. So we're going to grab a nice flat paintbrush. I like a sharp edge on those. And we're going to start with our light blue. There we go. And just carefully paint around the outline of your bunny. So you can see I'm lining up the corner of that flat brush with the pencil line getting right on that outline and being very careful not to go inside my bunny. Really take your time while you're doing this. It's okay if your first coat is uneven. We'll go back and put a second coat on it once we've got the whole first coat in. all those tiny little corners with just the tip of your flat brush and then use the big thick flat side to go around the larger smooth areas. careful to go just over the pencil line instead of on the outside of it. That way the paint will cover up that little bit of pencil we have left on the canvas. start doing the other side, be careful not to put your hand in paint. So make sure you're resting your hand on the blank canvas if you need to touch the canvas to brace yourself. Alright, we've got our last little bits of outlining done. 
last little touch-ups, look for any graphite that's showing through underneath that paint. Alright, so now we can go in and using still small amounts of paint on our paintbrush, we're going to fill in the rest of that background, spreading the paint out nice and thin. Make sure you get up around the corners if you're painting on a canvas. And really take your time to spread the paint thin, make sure you don't have any big globs that would take longer to dry. We'll paint in the entire background, get everything covered. And again, if it's not quite even on the first go around, don't worry. We'll paint a second coat and then I'll even everything up. We'll get the last layer of blue for our first coat, paint in a second coat, and then come back and let it dry. All right, so we've painted our second coat. Now we're gonna grab our yarn while that's drying and our pom-pom maker. And we're gonna open that pom-pom maker up so we've got two pieces on one side lined up kind of like a rainbow. From there, we're gonna take our string. I've measured about six arm lengths of string to wrap around this. I'm gonna hold it on that little dent on the body of the pom-pom maker and then just start wrapping that whole string around on that arched part so it fills the entire arch even all the way around all right we got our first side done i filled it in evenly all the way around that little rainbow bit tuck that end of the string inside and then close it up open up the other side both feet together and then wrap it around again once you've got it all wrapped Go ahead, grab your scissors, and you're gonna turn it so that the narrow side is facing you, and there's a little gap you can see in the middle there. We're gonna slide our scissors in there and cut along that line to separate those strings. Be really careful that your pom-pom maker does not open up during this part. It takes a pretty hard squeeze, so if you need help, get someone to help you out. There we go. Still don't open it up yet. We're gonna take our pom-pom maker and grab about one foot of string. And what we do is we're gonna slide the string in through that center crack in the middle of the pom-pom maker, bring it around to the other side, knot it once, pull it really, really tight. We'll have to pull the strings inside. You can see them pulling in. And then double knot it one more time so that that holds steady. Once you've got it double knotted, we can open up the little feet on our pom-pom maker. Grab both sides there. And then you're gonna pull the two pieces of the pom-pom maker apart to release your pom-pom. Make sure you leave those strings nice and long for the end where we'll tie that onto our canvas. We're gonna make sure our paint is dry and we'll start going in with our dots. So for this, I use a Elmer's glue stick, and that top bit is about the size I want my dot, so I'm just gonna dip it in my turquoise paint, get a nice even coat, and press it on to create a dot. And you could also use the lit up soda bottle or any small round lid. I'm just gonna keep repeating that until I have a pretty good amount of dots that I like on the canvas. Once I've got enough, I'm gonna take a paint towel, wipe off the top of my lid so that there's no turquoise left on there. It's nice and clean. And we'll go in with the rest of our colors to get the pink and yellow dots. All right, once we've got that and we let the paint dry, we're gonna get our pom-pom attached to this canvas. So I'm gonna use a large needle. And what I do is I take that string, poke it through with my fingernail, pull it through, Leave just enough for that string to double up. And I'm gonna find where I wanna put that pom-pom on my bunny, right about in the middle of his bottom. Poke my needle through the canvas, flip it on over, 
push that needle through, pull it out through the other side. And we're gonna slide the string off the needle there and let it kind of hang loose. And from there, we're gonna grab our other string and do the same thing. If you don't have a large needle, you can also use a hot glue gun. Just cut off the long strings, put a little bit of hot glue where you want to attach your pom-pom and then press your pom-pom onto the canvas. For the next one, we want to use a hole right next to the first hole. We don't want to go through the same hole. Pull that needle through, slide your string off, and now we're going to pull that pom-pom up tight against the canvas so that we've got our bunny tail lined up where we want it. From there, we're going to double knot our pom-pom onto the back of the canvas so it's nice and secure and stays on there nice and tight. Once you've got that, you can tuck the strings into the back or trim them so they're nice and short. And we've got our finished bunny painting. Super adorable and fluffy. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.